Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up, everybody? It's Mike Riolo Dad. We're back today again because, yes, I am back. Gonna actually do some cleanup on some equipment since I forgot to do that in the fall. Anyway, that kind of happens, but we're gonna be cleaning up my trusty about, oh geez, since 2006, Troy built 21 inch self propelled mower with a Honda engine with that lovely auto choke. Also have my Toro Greensmaster Flex 21. That's gonna get a little clean up in preparation for some future service. And then this guy, oh yeah. Now to clean these up, I'm actually going to be using an assortment of products from Super Clean. They reached out to me late last fall, I think sometime in October, which actually, yeah, that kind of be mid fall. But nonetheless, they reached out and said, hey, would you be willing to try some of our degreasers and stuff? And I'm like, well, I need some degreasers. So yeah, sure, send them my way. And about two days later, oh, a lovely box came with a nice assortment of degreasers. Connor there behind me getting ready to, I don't know, get into trouble. No, I'm not. So full disclosure on that is yes, they sent them to me. I did not pay for them. However, that is all I received. I received the product in exchange for this video you are watching right now. Now we get to put these to the test. However, it wouldn't be a real low dad review video without a little twist. And that is I'm going to compare one of the products they sent me to a product that I used 19 years ago when I detailed cars. So we're going to start off with the Troy built. But before we get into that, yes, I will be wearing gloves, some PPE because Frankly, after spending time detailing cars and the amount of chemicals my hands came in contact not wearing these because it was extremely hot outside and it just it ruins your fingers and the ladies don't like that. So I want to take the necessary precautions for this. However, the degreasers that Super Clean provided me do state they are biodegradable. So I'm assuming that is biodegradable in the sense to where it's better for the environment and not the biodegradable sense to where it will like melt my arm off. But just in case, we have these on. This will be your last This will be your last This will be your last So for the Troy Bill, I'm going to use this here. This is just the standard super clean. I'm also going to use this, which is again just the standard super clean, but in an aerosol format. I'm gonna use the aerosol format back here around my throttle linkages. And as you can see, I have I don't know. It's just nasty, gunky, leaky little bits of goo. I also have a nice collection of remnants from a scalp or something that's all nice and moist. Clean some of the bigger bits out. So let's start with this. One thing I look for in a degreaser is how little scrubbing I have to do. So we got this, giving it a couple shakes. And let's coat this. Now I do want to give fair warning. They do state that, you know, watch, be careful around aluminum. Um, avoid prolonged contact on motorcycles, aluminum, untreated glass, and painted surfaces. Which outside of this not being a motorcycle, be cool if it was, not having untreated glass, but it does have a painted surface and an aluminum engine block. So time is of the essence. So let's get this all foamy. Now we're going to let it sit for a second while I go turn on the hose. Then we're going to spray it off and see how well it does just with no agitation. So you may have noticed water pressure, a little uh, lacking of water pressure coming from my hose. Even with that little bit of water pressure, in about 45 seconds to a minute of it sitting on there, it eliminated most of the grease. However, there is something else that kind of popped up while I was doing this. Okay, so even though it is winter time, my hose was disconnected from the spigot over here. And I used it a few weeks ago with no problems, but we did have a little bit of a cold snap. And with that cold snap, well, in between, because this, I don't know the length of it, I think it's a 12 inch or an 18 inch, goes into the house and that's where the shutoff is on that valve. What happened was in between where it shuts off and where it exits the house, 
somehow water remained trapped in there and that broke so I have to replace that spigot now I have another spigot on the house hopefully that one's not doing the same thing because that one goes into the house and not into the garage and make more of a mess so we're gonna have to move around out back okay so instead of actually moving everything to the back I just decided let's run a hose from around back to the front because I also have just a bunch of nasty to clean up so that solved my problem I also double checked to make sure it's not leaking on the inside of the wall so I don't have to replace two hose bibs so let's get back at it this time we're going to use the pump Gritty greaser and we're gonna break out a brush for some agitation action. Okay, so now we're over here at the landscape blade. I'm switching up and I'm using the foaming version. I guess it has just a foaming cap here. Again, we have aluminum bits here and here. The blades are, of course, steel and whatever that shaft's made out of. So we're going to give a good, just general. So we're going to give a good covering. Now, if you're doing this mid-season, after running degreaser, I always recommend topping this off with grease like you normally would during maintenance intervals. Okay, so I got the top side coated fairly well. Let's let that sit. Now, typically to clean this, like this past year, I've been using, it's like California cleaner or something. It's something really cheap. It's like seven bucks a gallon. You dilute it down. It cleans a lot of stuff really well. But with how it cleaned, with the minimal scrubbing, and then the foam, just the aerosol cleaning off that oil residual, I'm really liking this. And you can see here, all the grass kind of, it's pulling it out, doing its thing. So let's see, we're going to, since I have this nice divider right here, I'm going to scrub this side and not scrub this side and that should give us a pretty good representation of what about just leaving it on versus a little bit of agitation here's a top down now agitated side non-agitated side and frankly outside of some gunk here, which these are a pain in the butt to clean anyway this it worked really really well it actually worked a lot better than I thought I thought I would have to be just scrubbing for a really long time okay so I'm actually gonna hold off on the greens mower for a little bit I have some fluid changes in the gear case and oil and I'll just clean it up when I'm done I don't want to get things dirty that are already clean. So we'll skip that. So now it's on to the last bit, the wheel cleaner. And with that, I bring in my old friend from 19 years ago. This is called Wheel Bright by Showcar Products. I used this extensively when I detailed cars. It is absolutely awesome. It took the dirtiest, nastiest BMW wheels. You know, this is E36, E46 timeframe and it made them absolutely beautiful with zero scrubbing. Now, how well will this hold up since the zero scrubbing's actually been pretty good on this so far. I've had to you know, scrub some really bad stuff, but it eliminates a lot. Now the directions on both of these are similar. This states that you need to wet the wheel prior. This, it needs to be dry. Both take about 30 seconds to work and then you hose them off. Okay, so the super clean requires the wheel to be wet first per their directions. 
the wheel bright does not. So what I'm going to do is this half of the wheel, I'm going to use wheel bright. Then I'm going to rinse it off. Then, because the rinsing off in the directions, we're going to apply the super clean. So let's get started with the wheel bright. Oh, that smell brings me back. Okay, so that section's done. Let's wait now for just a little bit. You can already see it just dissolving and knocking things away. Let's get this jug out of the way. Okay, that's been about 30 seconds. Now, one thing with the wheel bright is it won't really do much for the mud. Oops, helps if I get it on the right setting. So now, let's bust out is this on. No, it is not. Let's bust out the super clean. Okay, there we go. Wheel bright smells a lot better. This has kind of a metallic-y smell, but that's okay. We will wait now. Okay. Well, let's get a closer look, shall we? The wheel bright side here, it's, it's not bad. There's still a little bit left. Up in here, and it's hard to see, there's some caked on brake dust. I'm talking... A little bit of residue on the super clean side actually kind of shocked to be honest it's been a while since i've used a degreaser where i didn't have to actually go through the process of a lot of scrubbing very minimal scrubbing so thank you super clean for sending me out these they were fantastic i really liked it hopefully i'll never have to try the other product they sent me which is an oil absorption kind of cleaner granular you sprinkle it around but with my upcoming fluid changes on the toro flex 21 i may have to do that and if I do spill a little bit, well, we'll see how that works then at that time. So, I want to thank you all for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it, saw this, the super clean stuff. Um, I'll do a general link down below. So with that, hey, it's Mike Real Low Dad. Thank you. I will see you again soon.